I want to try to draw a contour plot for f of xy equals sine of x plus y. Generally, if I ask you to draw a contour plot, I will specify, draw the level curves f of xy equals k for these values of k, so that you don't have to stress about how many am I supposed to draw, is this enough, and all of that stuff. But let's approach this one without those directions. Let's strategize about what level curves we think are important. I'll first of all point out that the output of this function, because it's sine of something, has to be between negative 1 and 0. So I'm thinking those are the highest and lowest values that we can get. Those are going to be important values. And 0 is also kind of important. So let's start with those. Those are the values that, of sine that we get at quadrantal angles. I kind of like that. So let's go ahead. Let's start with 0. If I look at sine of x plus y equals 0, that would mean that x plus y had to be a multiple of pi, because it's only multiples of pi that give me sine of, zero, sine of 0. So x plus y would equal n times pi, where n is an integer. And remember that fancy z is just the set of all integers. This says n is an element of that set of integers, or n is an integer. Okay. Now if I solve for y, that's going to mean y is n pi minus x. That's going to give me a line. Slope is negative 1. The y-intercept is a multiple of pi. So I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of parallel lines. If n is 0, the y-intercept is 0, and we're going through the origin with a slope of negative 1. Then let's say here's pi and 2 pi. So that would give me negative pi and negative 2 pi, I'm going to have parallel lines with those as my y-intercepts. Okay, so all of this is my level curve for 0. I'm liking it. Okay, now if I look at, let's look at 1. That would be the highest z value we could get. So let's say sine of x plus y is equal to 1. That would mean that x plus y was coterminal with pi over 2. If I look at the unit circle, there's only one place where the y value, which is my sine, is equal to 1. That's pi over 2 and every angle coterminal with it. So that would be pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, where n is an integer. Okay. Now, what that means is I'm getting y is pi over 2 plus 2 pi n minus x. Again, that's going to be lines of slope negative 1. The y-intercept is pi over 2 plus some multiple of 2 pi. Okay. So let's see. Here's pi over 2. So that would be if n is 0. Okay. If n is 1, I'd be at pi over 2 plus 2 pi. That would be at 5 pi over 2. That's going to be above 2 pi. So there's a place where it equals 1 in between these two level curves for 0. There won't be a place where it equals 1 here, but there would be one up here with a y-intercept of 5 pi over 2. If n was negative 1, pi over 2 minus 2 pi would be negative 3 pi over 2. So let's see, there's negative pi over 2, negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2. We're getting something that looks like so. Okay. Now, if we take a look, these correspond to consecutive places where the z value is 0. Between these two zeros, we've got a 1. Between these two, we don't. That's because what's going to happen is our sine values are going to be negative in here. Okay, So between, if you think about it, between two zeros on a sine graph, you either go up to positive 1 or down to negative 1. So let's take a look at the negative 1. Okay. So if sine of x plus y equals negative 1, then x plus y, well, there's one point on the unit circle, 
where the y value, which is my sine, is going to give me a negative 1, okay? And that's going to be at 3 pi over 2 or anything coterminal with it. So x plus y would be 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, where n is an integer. <coughs> so here's 3 pi over 2. Notice that's between these two lines that are part of the level curves for 0. So in green here, I'm drawing my level curves for negative 1. This would be at negative pi over 2 would be the y-intercept here. <coughs> so basically, between these zeros, we go up to 1. Between these zeros, we go down to negative 1, etc., etc., etc. Now, that's just the high, the middle, and the low value that I get for sine. Let's take a look at one more. Let's take a look at one half. If sine of x plus y is one half. <laughs> now, there are two places on the unit circle where the y value is at one half. And that would correspond to an angle of pi over 6 or 5 pi over 6. So x plus y would be coterminal with pi over 6. So that's pi over 6 plus a multiple of 2 pi n. Or x plus y would be coterminal with 5 pi over 6. So 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n, where n is an integer. <laughs> In both cases, I can solve for y, and I'm going to get y is just this number minus x. Again, I'm getting lines of slope negative 1. It's these values are just giving me the y-intercepts. Now, if I take a look, okay, pi over 6 would be between 0 and pi over 2. 5 pi over 6 is between 0 and pi. That kind of makes sense. We're at 0. We go up to a half all the way up to 1, back down to a half, back down to 0. Now, I'm not going to have any places up here, because down here, this is going to be where our function is negative. If I were to do the level curve for negative 1 half, I'd have two of them in here. Basically, between every 0 and 1, I'm going to have a line corresponding to it equally 1 half, between every 0 and negative 1, I'm going to have a line corresponding to it equaling negative 1 half. Okay, so let's see. This was a place of 1, so we would have a level curve for 1 half on either side of it there. And then, if I again, if I did negative 1 half, I'd just be filling in some lines here. <laughs> So here, I can sort of follow these level curves to see the behavior of sine. Essentially, if I travel along like a line like so, I'm basically getting a sine curve. What we're getting is an extrusion of a sine curve. But we're not extruding parallel to the x-axis or the y-axis. We're extruding parallel to these lines of slope negative 1. This gives me basically just a sine curve, and then I'm translating it all along here. <laughs> so, kind of neat to see. All right, in the next video, we're going to start talking about functions of three variables and what we call, no, we won't have level curves, we'll have what we call level surfaces.